Good evening all. My program report is mentioned in the chat. Welcome all of you. Let me just check whether everything is perfect. everything is perfect okay fine so mention in the chat good evening one and everyone so today we are discussing the topic permutations and combinations which is one of the most important topic and one of the topic that many people think that it is difficult so we are trying to make this chapter as simple as possible for all of you uh, we will be having one more lecture on this uh, topic Tomorrow's class also will be on this topic itself. So make sure you invite all your friends to this session. We will wait for one or two minutes. By that time, copy this link and share it with maximum people. Let more people attend this session. Last two classes we discussed probability. Probability and this chapter is connected or we can say that some of the things you learn from this chapter will help you to do probability questions even more easier. So, okay. So to the new students, uh, this is a full length course for your upcoming gate exam, completely free full length course available in the YouTube channel Christie's classes. This will be available as live and recording daily 6 p.m. is the timing of this live course and we will cover all the topics of general aptitude. If you people are interested, this course will continue till your gate exam. So, and for the new people, this is the bio of me and this is the details of my, one second, details of my telegram channel and telegram group and whatsapp group where you can get more updates of my daily live class. Daily I take at least two live class in these, uh, in these weeks I take two live classes at least for gate exam, for CSA and net exam, another competitive exam I give regular free classes through my channel also and through an academy free platform and an academy plus platform also in the CSTR UGC net category in an academy I take free classes and plus courses so you can follow me there also and daily 11 a.m in an academy free platform also I take classes the details of that is given here tomorrow 11 a.m we will be discussing verbal ability questions in that platform for gate verbal ability 100 top PYQs we will be discussing those of you are interested can join that also I will share the details of that towards the end of the class and these are some of the books I have written for general aptitude section and this is the bestseller book I have written for CSE and net exam and the syllabus of gate exam we discussed last uh, first class I'm just showing again so today we are discussing the topic from permutation and combination even if the title of the topic is permutation combination literally you don't have to do permutation problems permutation formula combination formula in all the question I will be teaching you more wherever possible how to avoid that formula so the problem in school days we had is we have mugged up a lot of formula and lot of especially in this chapter permutation formula concept or by hearting that was very challenging so today we are going to have a different approach how to unlearn and relearn this permutation co combination topic actually it is not a topic it is a technique actually technique to do questions as I told this technique you can use in probability chapter also to an extent. So let us start then and hope all of you like this video if you are uh, getting benefit by this session please like this video and share this video to more and more people through your telegram group whatsapp group you can share this so that more people can be invited this course or this lecture is for all gate aspirants your science or btech all gate aspirants this will be equally useful so if any of your friends or relatives who are preparing for gate who want to attend this session share this link right away so that they can also learn from this lecture 
Okay, so let us start permutation combination. So permutation combination actually, as I told, all the question you don't need permutation for combination formula. Some questions basic counting is enough. Some question application of fundamental principle of counting is very important. So what is fundamental principle of counting? That is what I am starting. So in two sessions, we have to complete this session, complete this permutation combination chapter. So the things that is very important and things that is that you should learn to understand or get a good hold of this chapter, I will be covering in these two sessions. So one important thing you should know is fundamental principle of counting. What is fundamental principle of counting? Yeah, the name itself says fundamental principle of counting. To count things, the principle we can use to make counting simple. That is not any big deal. For example, if, if you look at this, this is actually, yeah, I hope it is visible. Just a minute. Okay, uh, the background is white, so I don't know whether it is visible. So, it is actually uh, white balls or footballs, whatever. So, just a minute. So, how many footballs are here if you want to count? One way you can do is you can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But once you start counting like that, you realize that you don't have to do that. That is actually uh, overdoing it. So, you can easily do it better by thinking that there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rows of 4 footballs. 5 rows of 4 footballs. That is total number is 5 into 4. Now. And this is fundamental principle of counting multiplication rule. This is actually unknowingly we are using everywhere this rule itself. So, that can be stated mathematically asked. If one thing can be done in m ways, another thing can be done in n ways then they both together can be done in m into n ways. As I told, knowingly or unknowingly, we are using this theorem or using this idea or this principle in our daily life also. For example, in a class, there is uh, 10 benches and every bench, three people are sitting. So, automatically it comes into our mind, you don't have to count each of the people in each of the benches. 10 into 3, 30 people are there. Again, fundamental principle of counting. So, let us see how fundamental principle of counting helps us to do questions in this chapter and helps us to derive permutation combination formula. So, we will be able to learn how to derive this formula rather than by hearting the formula. So, addition rule also there. Yeah, actually simply speaking multiplication rule and addition rule you can uh, summarize it as and means multiplication or means addition. In probability chapter also we have done many questions with that concept. So, it is already clear, I guess. So, the other things as I told, combination formula and all, this we will come to after understanding how we can derive this. Rather than that, without that mugging up, I do not think it is a good way. So, let us see some questions and understand what, what is the application of fundamental principle of counting and when to use permutation, when to use combination. So, all of you make a try with this question, all of you. I will give warm up questions like this first and then show you uh, gate exam questions of this type from previous year question papers. Yeah, those of you are not familiar with the term forward defender in football, forward and defender are two positions where, yeah, they are players. Forward player, defender player, forward and defense we say, right? Very good. Some of you already got it right. Okay. So, let us understand this. Out of six players, the manager has to select two players. One of them play as a forward and other as a defender. 
how many different ways are possible for this to happen so let us understand the six people a b c d e and f and there are two positions to be filled one is forward one is defense or defender first let us consider forward how many ways you can select the person who is playing forward you can select either a or b or c or d or e or f na any one of them can be the forward player so there are definitely six ways of doing it isn't it there are six ways of doing it that means it can be a forward now at the same time the defender should be chosen now the forward person will not be defender also that should be a different person whoever is here he cannot be here also so definitely for example if a is the forward b or c or d or e or f will be the defense that means a b a c a d a e a f are five possibility with a as the forward with a as the forward there is five possibility similarly with b as the forward b being forward there are five possibility na c being forward five possibility d being forward five possibility e being forward five possibility f being forward also five possibility not six possibility only five possibility and that is again fundamental this is how you can derive or this you this is how you can understand what is fundamental principle of counting instead of counting all these a b a c a d a e a f then b a b a b c b d b e b f then c a c b c e c d c e c a c b c d c e c f likewise listing all the 30 possibility is time consuming just like the um, just like the football example we took or the ball counting example we took so what we can generalize for each of these six forward possibilities there are five possibilities that is 5 plus 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 5 six times multiplication is repetitive addition na? that is nothing but fundamental principle of counting multiplication rule so for each of the six ways there are five ways six into five thirty ways are there is this clear to all of you why option b is the answer not option d some of you got option d that is wrong option b should be the correct answer i was just explaining what is fundamental principle of counting multiplication rule so that you can use this in more and more cases yeah you can express this in different ways but i am telling the easiest way to explain this or understand this you can also use permutation formula 6p2 will be the answer 6p2 also will give you 30 but as i told understand just basic counting this is now these all i just explained to make you understand what is happening once you understood what is happening you just have to say forward ko select kar sakta hai तरीके से डिफेंडर को सिलेक्ट कर सकता है पांच तरीके से अभी फंडामेंटल प्रिंसिपल ऑफ काउंटिंग अप्लाई किया तो थर्टी तरीके से ये कर सकता है सो थर्टी विल बी द आंसर यस मनीष आई एम कमिंग टू दैट पॉइंट इट सर कैन यू ट्राई दिस क्वेश्चन एंड कैन यू सी वेदर दिस क्वेश्चन इज एनी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन लॉजिक मेक ए ट्राई ऑल ऑफ यू Any answers? Okay. So some of you already got it right. Wonderful. 
how many ways a manager can select two players from five available players so two players randomly selecting we are not assigning any positions to them in the previous question the two players had definite positions or definite role which are different roles but here you you just have to select two people from 10 people how that can be done let us uh, from five people sorry a b c d e if that are the five people a and b is a possible way you can select a b a c a d a e is possible with a now be careful with b can you take b a like in previous question we took b a what is the meaning of b a there b being forward and a being defender in the previous question but here a b and b a are same a b and b a are same so you cannot do so are you understanding a b and b a are same so you don't how to select that as a different group that is the same way itself that is a repetition so a b a c a d a e with b already b a is counted so don't write it again so b c is there b d is there b e is there now with c c a is already done because a c is there c b is already done because b c is there so these two you cannot write then what comes c d and c e only remains with d only d e remains because all the rest three are already done in the previous three list are you understanding and finally with e you cannot make any other group because all the group with e is already counted that means total number if you count this also 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 is going to be 10 and this is what we say as combination formula also because in the previous case the order matters a being forward and b being defender is not same as b being forward and a being defender but in this case a being a and b a team b and a a team both are same team itself so both are equal this is called order does not matter here order matters simply speaking order matters those cases you have to use permutations if order does not matter you have to use combinations simply those of you know combination this is 5c2 5c2 will be the answer but as i told we are trying to learn the concept how this 5c2 is derived so we are still not explaining what is 5c2 why when to use 5c2 more simply speaking we can say that when order matters sorry when order does not matter combination that means you just have to select things without worrying about the order you just have to select things without worrying about the order that is when combination should be used when you have to select things worrying about the order that is when permutation should be used this is going to be 6p2 again i am saying 6p2 i haven't defined yet those of you don't know permutation don't worry those of you know permutation combination i was just giving a trailer when to use permutation combination we are going to discuss that in detail so can you try this then try this yes Surabhi. Kirti, we will come to that. Step by step, we will learn everything about permutation combination needed for competitive exams. Ajay, wait for it. Formula, we will not discuss now. We are trying to build the concepts now. And we will step by step reach the formula itself in the end. I will teach you the connection between permutation formula, combination formula. Everything we will be discussing. Don't worry. Very good. Some of you already got it right. Wonderful, wonderful. How many ways we can select a leadership team? So, the three people in the team have no specific roles. That means their order does not matter here. That means A, B, C, B, C, A, C, A, B all are same. 
that is all team of three people are you understanding if seven people i'm calling a b c d e f g as a seven people from seven people you have to select three people without worrying about the order that means sorry yeah we have to select three people without worrying about the order so with a how many people you can how many team we can make with a we can say that yeah actually these uh, question have different approaches one approach is as i told in the previous question we can list it out we can list it out with a how many uh, teams you can form with b how many teams you can form otherwise if you are good with combination formula 7 c 3 is the answer because you have to select three people without worrying about their order the rearrangement part we don't have to worry about in that case you can just do 7 c 3 but again we will come back to 7 c 3 those of you know 7 c 3 it will be 7 into 6 into 5 divided by 1 into 2 into 3 7 into 6 into 5 1 into 2 into, 2 into 3 35 you will get option d most of you got option d but how to derive this why 7 c 3 we are using let us understand it logically with a how many teams you can form with a you can say a b c a c d a d e a f g so yeah actually the listing out part will be difficult i'll do one thing try the next question and then i will come back to this there you will understand the difference all of you try this all of you try this previous question a tweaked version of it all of you try this bhavana almost complete not fully but almost complete ready to take class still some more workers there Any answers? <laughs> this if you got the answer, mention in the chat. Rinjan got it. Anyone else? Simrajit, Simarjit got, Pratisha got. Priyal, Sakshi, Dhruv. Okay, so I will explain how many ways we can select a leadership team out of three out of seven people in the previous question it was just selecting three three people but now that three people have three roles that means their order matters how their order matters for example if a b c d e f g are the seven people first person i am selecting i will think i will just think that i am selecting the general manager then the manager then the assistant manager just assume these are the three posts or any three posts you can take so general manager how many ways you can select a can be general manager b can be c can be d can be e can be f can be g can be so there are seven ways to select the general manager but remember a being general manager b being general manager c being sorry b being manager and a being as c being assistant manager is not same as c being general manager b being manager and a being assistant manager that means this order matters a b c is not equal to b c a or c a b they all are different that is where you have to worry about the order if you have to worry about the order it is permutations and as i told permutation formula you don't have to use basic fundamental principle of counting you have to use there assistant general manager can be selected in seven ways 
manager can be selected in six ways only because whoever is the general manager he cannot be the manager also in some question it may be possible but when you read this question it is very clear the general manager will not be manager also so definitely six ways manager whoever is general manager that person cannot be manager and these two people whoever it is cannot be assistant manager so the remaining five people anyone can be possible anyone can fill the seat now again fundamental principle of counting for each of the seven ways the general manager are chosen there are six ways managers can be chosen and for each of those seven into six 42 ways there are uh, you can form assistant manager okay actually this is three now the value in the four options are missing sorry uh, yeah, I will correct the options. Anyway, you can mention. Yeah, so definitely um, the assistant manager can be any of the remaining five people. So it is 7 into 6 into 5. That is 42 into 5, 210 you will get as the answer. Did you all understood this? Please respond. Did you all understood this? How 210? Yeah, the option is not there. I'll just correct first option as 210. So option A will be the correct answer. So that is the idea. And the, now you can understand the previous question more clearly. Why we are dividing by 1 into 2 into 3. Those of you know combination formula. This 1 into 2 into 3. Why we are dividing you can understand. Because when you say 7 into 6 into 5. There are many duplications in this case. Why duplications? Here, when you are selecting three leadership team, A, B, three people leadership team, ABC team, BCA team, CAB team, all are same. Na? Are you understanding? ABC, BCA, CAB, all are same. They are not different. But all these are written differently. All these are written differently. So, you have to divide by three factorial. Yeah, why you divide by three factorial to make you understand. Now, we have to go to the next concept yeah we are actually jumping from one concept to other because some of these things are very connected without understanding that concept we cannot understand the logical idea behind it so please do one thing i want you to try this question yeah actually these things are actually selecting a person and selecting a post and we are fixing that which this person can be this this person can be that now, you can use the same for word rearrangement. That is called anagrams. Anagrams means word rearrangement problem. A word is given. How many ways you can rearrange it? For example, can you all try this? Can you all try this? Very simple question. Mention the answer in the chat. Very good. Many of you already got it right. So, in this case, what you have to do? Again, it is all fundamental principle of counting, nothing else. All the question we have discussed till now is just fundamental principle of counting. Yes, we will come back to that question where that three people, how many ways you can, seven people, three people can be arranged. As I told, with this idea, we will build this concept of combination permutation and then come back to that idea. Then it will be very easy to see. In how many different ways can the letters of the letters A, B, C, D can be arranged? A, B, C, D arranged different. Yeah, obviously it is four letter words itself we need to find. That means there are four letters to be fixed now. In the previous question, it was for three positions to be filled. General manager, assistant manager, manager. Here it is four positions to be filled because Four letter word, four positions are there. First position, kitna tarike se fill kar sakta hai? A se fill kar sakta hai, B se fill kar sakta hai, C se fill kar sakta hai, D se bhi fill kar sakta hai. So, there are four ways to do that. Now, whichever letter you fixed here, that cannot be used anymore. So, definitely three ways are there to fill the second one. The remaining three letter, any letter can be fixed. Then two ways, because the letter used here, used here cannot be fixed here. 
and then one way so definitely again fundamental principle of counting for each of the four ways there are three ways of fixing the second case for each of that 4 into 3 12 ways there are two ways to fix the third position for each of the 4 into 3 into 2 ways only one way is to fill the remaining those of you who want little more clarity on this one second i'll just show you yeah look at this if i am taking the letter word a and t a and t how many ways we can rearrange let us understand let us understand how fundamental principle of counting is applicable here so either you can just list it out by just checking which all ways are there or you can systematically count it how the first position can be filled how many ways you can think first position can be filled with letter a or n or t now, for each of these three cases, the second position can be filled how many ways you think. For A, you can fill it with N and T. That means for each of the, for each of the cases, there are two ways to fill the second position. For N, you can fill N, A or N, T. For T, you can fill T, A and T, N. That means, one second. Just write in the top. So for A, A, N, A, T are there. For N, N, A, N, T are there. For T, T, A, T, N are there. Are you all understanding? That means for each of these three letters, there are two ways you can fill the second position. 3 into 2. And for each of those 3 into 2, 6 ways, there is only one way the remaining position can be filled in each of those cases. Why only one way? A, N, T, T, A, A, T, N, N, A, T, N, T, A, T, A, N, T, N, A. That is why 3 into 2 into 1. Many people I know that just by heart N factorial for this question. N factorial by R factorial for that question. Yeah, if you are just going for like 10 minutes, you are learning a whole topic, maybe you have to buy hard many things like that. But I will suggest try to get the concept clear. Then you can do any variations of this very easily. So, did you all understood why we are multiplying 3 into 2 into 1? And now I think it is very clear why we can... Why we here use 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 also i think it is very clear because first position can be filled in four ways second position in three ways third position in two ways and fourth position in one ways so 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 and then you can just understand if n letters are there n factorial ways you can rearrange so super fast tell me what is the answer for this a b c d e then what will be the answer all of you Yes, all of you got it. It is 120. Why 120? Because 5 letters are there. 5 factorial ways you can rearrange it. 5 letters can be rearranged in 5 factorial ways. 5 factorial why? Because first position can be filled in 5 ways. Second position in 4 ways. Third position in 3 ways. Fourth position in 2 ways. So, 
5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, 120 ways you can do it totally. Now, extra conditions can be added to this and ask the question. For example, in this question, how you can do this question? All of you make a try. As I told, these all are just basic fundamental principle of counting only, nothing else. Exactly, Kirti. The formula is irrelevant once we understood the concept. Then, whether you want formula or not, you can derive it. These are called anagram problem, word rearrangement problems. Not only in gate exam, any competitive exam, these are some basic things you should know. These are just as I told, when it comes to word, word rearrangement, we will say it as anagram problem. When it is like number problem, we will say number rearrangement problem. Or when it is like people to be arranged, general manager, manager, assistant manager, that is that type of problem. But all are fundamentally same only. Na? So that is what you should concentrate on. Some of you already got it. Very good. Okay, so I will start explaining. A, B, C, D, five letters are in such that B and D always come together. So, a, an extra condition is added. What is the condition? B and D always come together. B and D come together means B, D should be considered as a single letter so that that can be placed in different positions. B, D a letter, then A, T and sorry, A, C and E, three more letters. So, total how many letters are there now? Not five letters, only four letters because B and D should be together. So, that can be considered as a single letter or thin letter more. So, total four letters. Four letters have four factorial arrangements. First position, fourth, second, third, 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 second, third, 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 B, D is a possibility and D, B is another possibility for the letter B and D always together. B or D, X saath hone ke liye, B, D, B possible hai, D, B, B possible hai. Matlab, internally B or D rearrange kar sakta hai. How many ways? Two ways or two factorial ways. That means D, B, A, C, E also have a four factorial arrangement na. That is 24 ways. That means... 24 ways plus 24 ways, total 48 ways. How you can generalize this? How you can generalize this? Internal arrangement into external arrangement. Again, this is not any formula to by heart. This is just a concept. Again, fundamental principle of counting. Externally, considering this as a group of letter, consider it as a one single letter and then four letters four factorial ways you can rearrange and for each of those four factorial ways internally inside the group of that group of words that is group of letters which form that bd internally wo rearrange kar sakta hai two factorial ways because internally they have two positions to fill two into one ways are there two factorial ways for each of these two factorial ways, four factorial ways are there. So, fundamental principle of counting, multiplication rule again, two factorial into four factorial ways, 48 will be the answer. Are you all understanding this? So, here it is, BD coming together. Same thing can be asked, vowels coming together. In this question, if the question is vowels coming together, what will be the answer? Vowels as you know in English, A, E, I, O, U are the vowels. Here A and D are the vowels here. That is also two letters. So, two factorial into four factorial, again 48 will be the answer. Now, what if the question is asking this way? All of you try this. Make a try and mention the answer in the chat. 
दीस आर् अनग्राम प्रॉब्लम ऑल द वेरटटी ऑफ अनग्राम प्रॉब्लम वी विल लेर्न बै दैट यू विल अंडर्स्टा कोमेशन फोर्मुला आंड पर्म्यूटेशन फोर्मुला Due to lack of time, I will start explaining. Never come together. What we discussed in the previous question, B and D coming together. Here it is told that B and D should not come together. That means if B is starting letter of the word B A C D E is possible. B A D C E is possible, but B D A C E is not possible because they are together. So finding all these cases will be very difficult. So the better way is find the cases where B and D are together, which we already found in the previous question. From the total number you subtract it. Total number of ways we found last to last question. So last question, last to last question. If you take the difference of it, that is the answer, na? How many ways A, B, C, D can be rearranged? One twenty ways. In that one twenty ways, forty eight ways B and D are together. So in all other ways, all the remaining ways, B and D will not be together, na? Exactly, ba wana? Total minus B D together. Total minus B D together. If you find, you get the answer for this. This is another variety of question that can come. Are you all understanding? Total ways will be what? We already discussed one twenty minus B D together ways we discussed in the previous question forty eight. The difference is seventy-two. So seventy-two is the answer. Now, can you do this for next question? The word is pigeon. The word is pigeon. I want you to do three questions. Total number of ways I want you to find. I want you to find vowels always come together, and I want you to find why vowels ne never come together. Sorry, the options don't. Look at it. Options may be different. Yeah, find all these three. Three question. Total ways. Like previous question. Total ways. Vowels together. Vowels. Which are the vowels here? Identify it and then find it. And vowels not together. The last three question we discuss for A B C D. I want you to repeat it for this question. Vowels not together. All of you try it, and you can mention A, B, C. What answer you got? I'll give you one minute. All of you try this super fast.
very good some of you got all the three of them wonderful wonderful so total number of ways how many let us understand so how many letter word this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 letter word 6 factorial arrangements will be there 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that is 720 ways are there sorry uh, 6 factorial it is that is uh, 5040 ways are there 5040 ways will be there so option c will be the answer how many of one second it is a six letter word right okay sorry 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 it is six letter only so it is 720 will be the answer if uh, the question is asking how many letters can be formed because all the letters are different yeah when the letters get repeated that is another thing that is we are coming to that so it's a six letter word so six factorial is 720 so 720 will be the answer total number of ways now vowels coming together be careful there vowels coming together how many ways are there vowels can be together i and e and o are the vowels in this word they should be together means you can consider it as a single group of letter or a single letter i e o as a letter and p g n as three more letters so total how many letters are there four letters are there four letters can be rearranged in four factorial ways. that means external arrangement will be four factorial now internally i e o can be rearranged among itself as i e o i o e e i o e o i don't list it out i am just telling for those people who want the concept to be more clear the a and t word we rearranged in three factorial ways now so definitely this also three factorial six ways are there so internal arrangement will be three factorial ways for each of the three factorial ways there will be four factorial external arrangement so internal arrangement into external arrangement you have to multiply three factorial is six four factorial is 24 multiplying you will get 144 so 1 144 will be the answer is that clear why 144 is the answer many of you got 144 and that is totally correct hope all of you understood this much now the third one vowels sorry this is this is not never come together vowels always come together sorry for the typing error always come together vowels never come together how you will find it total ways 720 minus vowels coming together that is 144 so difference of that will be the answer that is 576 so 576 will be the answer in this four options it is not there 576 will be the answer hope this much is clear to all of you the concept of anagrams now the concept of anagram the last thing you should know is when words are repeated when words sorry when letters are repeated so all of you try this when letters are repeated what to do tomorrow also we will be continuing permutation combination today we are going with the basics so that any for bigger kind of questions also is easy for you make a try with this question all of you and those of you are liking this lecture literally like this video so that this video will be visible to more and more people there will be a higher visibility of this video in the internet please make sure you hit the like button if you have benefited by this video please uh, let me know that through the through by hitting the like button and sharing this video to more people and if any of you haven't subscribed this channel please do that so that you will get further updates if you are hitting the uh, uh clicking the bell icon you will be getting every updates of this group daily at 3 pm there is a one one question solution video series daily running that is for CSCR net exam and for gate exam daily at six o'clock we are running this course and after one month we are planning for a complete free course on vedic mathematics that also you can be part of let me know which all courses you like to have from me in the upcoming months also because i am happy with the uh, response that you are showing if more people are coming daily we can continue this more yes yeah, you know taking videos in youtube is a bigger effort we have to take for that effort to have 
benefit definitely more people should join so make sure you invite your friends any gate aspirants whether it is gate aspirants for uh, btech gate aspirants or even pure science gate aspirants any gate preparing student aptitude section is common so sure jahir i will try to uh, Pragya, we will try. Uh, CSAR already in the Unacademy free platform. I am taking a lot of free classes, Pragya. Check it out. 11 o'clock uh, daily. Now we are running a series for gate there also. Tomorrow, yeah, I will inform about that in some time. Okay, many of you got the answer right for this question. Thank you, Vaspa. So here India have five letters. So if all the five letters were different, five factorial arrangement would have been there. Now five ways you can fix first position, five, four ways second position, three ways third position, two ways fourth position, one way fourth position. So five into four into three into two into one. Total one twenty ways you can do that. Total one twenty um, ways you can do that. But in the one twenty ways there are many duplicated words now. Why duplicated words? Because India word, if you are rearranging, you will say I N D I A, fixing this I here and fixing I here D second N I A. And for example, for faster explanation, if I taking this I here and I here. I will get a word India, which is again the same word we already written. Yeah, if you are rearranging I and D, you will get a new word. If I rearrange I and A, you will get a new word. But in this 120 words, when you are saying 120, we are saying there are 120 different words you can form. But all the 120 are not different. There are duplications. To delete the duplication, what we are saying is, I will tell, I will uh, show you that with a simpler example. If the word is E Y E, E Y E I, if the word is A N T, we already discussed A N T A T N with A beginning, N T A N A T with T beginning, sorry, N beginning, T A N T N A with T beginning. There are three, uh, six total possibility. In the same way, if we try, E and D are different letters, then there would be six arrangements. E, Y, E, 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 Y. Y, E, E. Again, you will write Y, E, E. Considering E and D are separate letters like N, T, A, N, A, T. Now, E, Y, E, 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 Y. But in the six ways, these are the six ways, if all the letters were different like this, in the six ways here there is duplication y e e one time again one time so delete it e y e one time again one time delete it e e y one time again one time repeat delete it that means half of them are duplications half of them are duplication or in other words one by two factorial of them are original one by two factorial of them are duplicates why this two factorial because one letter is occurring two times. One letter is occurring two times. If it is like A, 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 B, C. A, 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 B, C. What will be the answer? 5 factorial by 3 factorial. Because only 1 by 3 factorial of this are original. Remaining are duplicates. You can check it out by listing it out. You can get it due to lack of time. I am not listing it out. So, 5 factorial by 3 factorial because only 1 by 3 factorial of them are dupe of originals. Remaining are just rearrangements of A, A, A. Internally, A, A, K, A, A, A can be rearranged in 3 factorial ways. Na? So, only 1 by 3 factorial are original. That is why we are dividing by 3 factorial. Please respond whether this is clear or the general theory we can summarize now that if n letters are there n factorial arrangements would have been there but if one of the letter is occurring r times you have to divide by r factorial you have to divide by r factorial is that clear don't by heart this understand this so we will take few more examples on that and then 
related to the previous question we were doing. So, India definitely as five letters are there, five factorial arrangement. As I is occurring two times, to delete the duplication, you are delete, dividing by I two ways. So, two factorial, if you, you have to, if they were actually different, like in the previous question, BD together, you multiplied there. Na? Here you have to divide because you have to delete the duplications. You need the original ones only. Understanding the point? The same question again can be asked, vowels always together, vowels not coming together. Can you try that? Can you try that for the word India? Vowels coming together, vowels not coming together. Be careful what are the vowels there and in the vowels whether there is a repetition or not. Again, you just have to use internal arrangement into external arrangement. Internal arrangement what? External arrangement what? List it out and multiply it. Super easy. Make a try all of you. Again repeating tomorrow 6 p.m. Second lecture on permutation combination we will take. There we will discuss how these techniques I taught you today can be applied for many of the things, many of the different questions. Okay. Okay. Am I audible? Okay. Am I audible? Hello. Okay. Hello. Am I audible? Hello? Our screen is locked. Just a minute. I don't okay. know what is the issue. Just a minute. Hello.
Am I audible? Hello? Our screen is locked. Just a minute. I don't okay. know what is the issue. Just a minute. Hello, Hello, is it clear now? Please mention in the chat whether it is clear or not or refresh and check whether it is clear or not. Somehow the screen got locked. Am I audible? Hello? Our screen is locked. Just a minute. I don't okay. know what is the issue. Just a minute. Hello, Hello, is it clear now? Please mention in the chat whether it is clear or not or refresh and check whether it is clear or not. Somehow the screen got locked. Am I audible? Uh, okay, I'll do one locked. thing. Today we will conclude here. Tomorrow we will uh, continue the same topic Hello, itself. Is it clear there now? we will continue on this question chat, itself. It is clear so whatever or doubts or you have, we will cover there. Yeah, actually Somehow the technical the issue, it may take time to resolve. So don't locked. worry. We'll discuss that in tomorrow's class. So, Am yeah, I anyway, I hope today's session was useful for all of you. Uh, uh, and uh, tomorrow we'll conclude this um, conclude this topic. So, thank you all of you for attending the session. So, tomorrow 11 a.m. there will be another free class. I will share the details in this channel. Verbal Ability Top 100 PYQs in an academy platform we'll be taking. And tomorrow 6 p.m. Permutation Combination Second Lecture. Thank you all for yeah, attending anyway, the session. Please session share this video to maximum people. Uh, Invite uh, more and more people to tomorrow's and, uh, class tomorrow also. Thank you all. Take this, care, all of you. Uh, Have a good night. Bye bye. So See you on the next class. Session. So tomorrow 11 a.m. there will be another free class. I will share the details in this channel. Yeah, Verbal yeah, ability top 100 PYQs in an academy platform we'll be taking. And tomorrow 6 p.m. permutation combination second lecture. Thank you all for attending the session. Please share this.